Hello, welcome back. Thanks for coming by today. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the forehead exercise in Exercise Along With Me Series 3. This is a very, very strong exercise and it is to be done along with the whole exercise set of Exercise Along With Me Series 3. So this is the first one in the Series 3 update that I'm giving. Now as you know I'm doing all these updates throughout the year to give you a, a bit more of a handle on how the exercises work. The updates are not changing the exercises, the updates are simply that an update and what that is is giving you a little bit more deeper information on how the exercise works. So I hope that's clear for everybody that they're not new exercises it's just deeper information on how the exercises work and as you move through all the series you will find that you'll start to learn new and different things about the exercises and about the program as you apply all these techniques and tips that I give you. So with this exercise what we do is we have our three fingers and we place it right into the center of our forehead. We don't lay our fingers down, we place it right into the center of the forehead with our fingers up, with our fingertips up. If you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can place your thumb right over the center of your eyebrow. Okay, so it's sort of this this sort of shape that you're using on your on your face okay now the reason why we place our thumb right into the center of our eyebrow and not to the outside is because it still gives it still gives that an, enough resistance to lift the muscle and the skin in the area that we're trying to lift which is on the outside of our forehead and our temples so the area that we're trying to work with is on the outside of our forehead and our temples. Okay? And this is why we have to hold our thumb as far in as we can to help that still able to move. Okay? And I'll give you an example of what this is and I want you to do it with me. So place your fingers in the center of your forehead in a vertical position, then place your thumb as I've showed you. Now start to lift and lift your forehead. Now, what you should be feeling as you're lifting your forehead, the muscles on the side of your forehead should be moving up and down. And also what that's doing is moving the temple up and down. So when you do it, it doesn't inhibit the side muscles. What we want to do is inhibit the center muscle so it makes the side muscles move. Now what I want you to do is now place your thumbs on the outside and then try to do that exercise again. Put them in the center of your brow and lift again and you can feel the difference on the side. So it's really important that you get your finger placements correct with this exercise. Because we're utilizing the press and plant technique and that's a technique that I created for you so you can work out how to move muscles that really are difficult to move. Because we're using this press and plant technique this is why we have to be really specific with our finger placements in this exercise. So what this is going to do for you is it's going to lift the sides of your temples and lift this area here on the sides of your forehead. Now a lot of people say to me, oh but there's skin bunching here and there's wrinkles happening here. Well of course there's wrinkles happening there because you're lifting your forehead. That's why there's wrinkles, but what they are, it's actually skin bunching and they're not permanent. So you don't have to worry about that side of it because to be honest, if it were the case that it created wrinkles, I would have them all over my forehead and I don't. So just trust the fact that the information I'm giving you is correct and it's going to be okay. And it's going to be okay because you're going to be keep following the series as I teach you to follow it. It's only if you do that exercise all the time and don't give it a break or don't change up the exercises is when you'll get wrinkles. Okay, it's really important. Did you hear that? It's only if you do that exercise all the time or by itself is when you'll get wrinkles. But you will not get wrinkles. You will not 
you will not create wrinkles within six weeks of doing that exercise when you've already done exercises previously and you're going to do exercises ahead of it which are different. So you're not going to cause wrinkles so don't worry about it. Okay? Really don't worry about it. Just work on visualizing that area of your muscles lifting up and when you do that you have a lovely strong lift here up along here and up along the side here. So let's run by it one more time very quickly. Just do it with me. Just do it with me once more. Just before you go, do it with me once more. Holding your fingers in the position that I've showed you. So it's a position like this. Put your fingers in this position and show me. Are you doing it? Okay. In this position, place them on your forehead and then lift. And you can see the difference there. You can see where I'm placing them and lift. And when you're pressing firmly right in the center part here everything else will lift around it and that part is isolated. Now coming up I'm going to be doing uh, the rest of the exercises in the coming days and the coming weeks and updates on those exercises so please stay tuned for that because each week I'll be giving you new ways of doing that exercise and new underst deeper understandings of how to do that exercise. Remember to subscribe to the channel because if you don't you'll miss out on those coming up videos. Like the videos that would be fantastic and go and have a look at my face aerobics website. This is my face aerobics website here. Go and have a look and uh, it's a premium membership where you can be a membership of the face aerobics gym and you get all sorts of exciting little things there as well. You have a great time wherever you are in the world and I'll see you next time. Bye.